Hi, and welcome to a new Crypto Robin episode. I am Alex, your Crypto Robin host, and today we are going to take a look at VeChain, a blockchain platform that was designed to enhance supply chain management and business processes. We will briefly explain some of its features and cover the advantages it comes with. Before that, though, for the latest news and reviews of the crypto space, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Telegram. Plus, for more crypto information and education, you can find us on the Cryptomatics YouTube channel. We'll leave the links in the description below and in the pinned comment. Join us and stay up to date. Founded in Singapore in 2015, VeChain is a blockchain-based project that focuses on supply chains. The mainnet was launched in June 2018, and since then, the ecosystem has grown steadily, attracting numerous partnerships. First of all, VeChain is based on its own blockchain, called VeChain Tor. With this smart contract-compatible blockchain, therefore, on which you can create dApps, VeChain wants to provide businesses of any size with the tools needed for better digital collaboration. By digital collaboration, I mean primarily supply chain management, but also data transfer. Since traditionally, and especially when we think of large companies, the whole supply network is extremely complex and evolves many parts, there will always be room for optimization. Moreover, the management of this supply network is essential for the evolution of a company and its profit, since an optimized supply network is closely linked to lower costs and faster production cycles. At the moment, when we talk about many companies, all the data on these extremely important processes are segmented, wherever we are talking about the parties involved or storage solutions and access to data. I've mentioned all this because it is necessary to understand exactly where VeChain comes in and what existing problems it solves. The VeChain platform, in addition to increasing the level of data transparency, creates much easier access to the information needed for businesses. Viral information in these circumstances may be related to a particular product and some processes such as storage, transportation, supply, and so on. For example, VeChain can be used to track the quality, authenticity, storage temperature, storage environment, or the entire distribution route more simply from the production of a bicycle tire to the final buyer. In order to achieve these things, VeChain uses, among other things, RFID tags or radio frequency identification using radio frequencies for data transfer, and sensors that transmit information to the blockchain, which can then be accessed in real time by the user. So all the parameters related to a particular product can be constantly monitored by the parties involved. Let's dive into the tech part of the VeChain Tor blockchain. The blockchain uses a proof of authority consensus mechanism, which requires nodes to receive authorization before participating in the creation of new network blocks. This consensus system, in the case of VeChain, uses 101 nodes in the network, all of which have to go through a Know Your Customer process and lock a minimum of 25 million VET through staking. These nodes are chosen by the VeChain Foundation, and in contrast to most proof-of-stake networks, the amount of VAT staked by a node does not influence the chances of producing new blocks in the network, which are equal for all nodes. There are certain minuses when it comes to using a network of this type, especially the fact that a single node can manipulate the entire network when it is allowed to create a block. For this reason, the team is working on Proof of Authority 2.0, which, through certain improvements, will rectify these limitations. An exact date for the new system is not set, but it will likely be released later this year. One of VeChain's big pluses is the very ecosystem they have built and the partnerships they have, including with Walmart, PwC, BMW, Renault, and many others that constantly lead the platform and the entire blockchain spectrum to wider adoption. VeChain uses an economic model involving two different currencies, VET and VTHO. 
The VAT currency has a total supply of about 87 billion, with about 65 billion in circulation at the moment. The currency is used for governance, taking the creation of VTHO coins and very importantly for transactions within dApps built on VeChain. VTHO, which stands for VeChain Tor Energy, is used for transactions on VeChain, where a standard network transaction costs 21 VTHO. The purpose of a dual model is to separate fees within the network from the volatility of a primary token such as VAT. The project does not have a clear roadmap for the future, but what is certain is that it deals with new partnerships, in addition to the launch of a Proof of Authority 2.0 consensus system. VeChain is, without a doubt, a project that enjoys success in the crypto world, but also in the non-crypto area, through a very solid use case, a well-thought-out economic system, and an impressive series of partnerships. VeChain is competing with massive non-crypto companies, such as IBM or SAP, but especially after the launch of Proof of Authority 2.0, it will be able to attract even more big names among customers, thus securing a good position in this niche. That's all for today. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when we publish a new video.